How's it going guys, Ryan Noodle here and I'm bringing you guys a quick little video on how to grease your free coaster hubs. Now, greasing your free coaster hubs is very beneficial to the free coaster and the life of the free coaster. If you have a free coaster, it's really recommended to grease your free coaster at least every month or two months. And the internals of a free coaster is really relied on the amount of grease that you have inside of it. So if it's very dry, then your clutch is actually just gonna grab onto your hub and not let go for anything. So it's very good to grease it and make sure that none of that happens and to extend the life of your free coaster in general. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that on a Shadow Raptor complete wheel. So the tools that you will be needing to use is an eight or a six, depending on what kind of free coaster you have. And on top of that, you will need a large adjustable wrench to take off the cone nuts and also a hammer. So let's go grab those tools right now. First things first, you guys will need to take off the pegs if you have any, but if you're riding a free coaster, five times out of 10, you will be riding pegs. So you have to take them off. So just set these aside guys because don't really need them at all actually. Okay. Take off your hub guard too because you really don't need that either. Okay. Let's do the other one now. So now that you have the actual everything stripped down off of it, there's no bolts on it, everything's gone off of it. What we do next is we actually take out the axle itself, take off the cone nuts, and we're actually gonna bang this axle out really quickly. So we're gonna get right on that right now. All right, so this is where we're gonna be using our eight mil and adjustable wrench. So you guys will take your adjustable wrench, slap it on the cone nut like that, and then take your eight, put it in the end of the hub, or six, whatever you have. And then lefty loosey, righty tighty. It'll just pop right off like that. And unscrew it. Unscrew it all. I greased mine like last week and I over greased it because when I got the free coaster, for some reason, Shadow didn't grease it up in the first place. So I had to grease it like two weeks later, which kind of ruined my hub. But I over greased it a lot, so don't be don't be alarmed when you guys see like dripping grease out of this hub. It's also very nice to have um, paper towels when you're doing this because your fingers will just turn black. All right, so right here, right here, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but this is actually the driver. And when you unscrew the driver, it unscrews from the clutch and you can just pop the sucker right out just like that. And that's what we want to do. Now be careful. I have the Shadow Free Coaster, so it's K-H-E internals. So that means that there's a little washer inside this part right here, and you do not want to lose that at all. So keep that washer, and make sure you guys just watch, and make sure you guys don't lose it. But this is the driver, and it's very beneficial to grease this too. Like I said, you have to really grease and stuff. Okay, so this next step is kind of out of the loop. There's a lot of ways to do this, but I'm just gonna do it the really quick and easy way like I always do it. I just grab a hammer or mallet. Mallets are better because they're rubber and it won't ruin your hub. I take one side, I hold it up like this, take the other side, and I hammer gently. And what that does is right over here, where we have the other drive side. I got foam from riding the foam pit. But right here on the other side, it pops out this whole entire axle and everything else. So we're gonna give it like two good whacks. Ready, three, two, and one. That was easy. Okay, so when I pull this out, you guys will see that it's loaded with grease. Yeah. Lost my clutch in there. That came in clutch. Okay, so next up, let's get right into it. 
Okie dokie, so when you usually grease a hub, you wanna degrease it first. So we're just gonna pop this clutch out really quickly. And as you guys can see, it's pretty greased up right now. But right here is some slack adjustment spacers. So you can add more spacers to adjust your slack or take away some. Right here is, this is the bearing. I think I broke mine or something like that because it keeps making a weird noise. But right here is the bearing. Let me just find something pointy so I can just point to all this. Right here is the bearing, and right here is the outside cone washer, and right here is the lock nut to keep that cone washer in place. So right now, we're just going to degrease everything because, yeah, there's a lot of grease on it right now. So we're just going to degrease everything with a just regular paper towel and stuff. So let's get right into it. Okay, so right when we took off the clutch, we're just gonna degrease that too. Now, when you're degreasing these, it's very important not to like clean it with Windex and just completely get rid of all the grease on it. It's just a quick wipe down of all the excess grease. And then we will do the same to our driver. We're just gonna degrease it and clean it up a little bit, make it look brand new. So this is the little spacer I was telling you guys about. Alright, so this is the little spacer that you guys really do not want to lose that goes directly inside the driver like that. So don't lose that at all actually because then your free coaster won't work. So we're just going to continue to degrease everything. So I like to clean up my driver a little bit that's been tarnished over the couple of weeks with my chain. So then it'll be just looking brand new. I mean, come on, what's, what's, what's up? What's up, dude? So very quickly, this is what makes your coaster engage or not, is that when you pedal down, when you pedal down like that, this right here, these have little teeth on it, which makes your coaster almost spin and it clenches onto the coaster itself because there's also little teeth inside the hub. And when that goes on like that, and then when you back pedal like that, it breaks the teeth off the hub itself. So it's allowing you to free coast basically. And so when you pedal back on like that, it goes to free coast, but this is stationary. This does not move, but this does. So it's kind of like a weird old thing, I guess. All right, you want to take your grease. In this case, I'm just using some automotive and industrial general multipurpose grease. Let's get greasing. This smells like cat pee, but we're just gonna deal with it. All right, so I'm just gonna do this with my fingers because I don't want to really use a toothbrush or anything like that. So your fingers are gonna get dirty, guys. It's not the first time you guys' fingers will get dirty. You guys will just grease it very lightly like this. All right. Take more grease. Grease, 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 grease. All right, so we just greased the little parts of the hub right now. And now we're gonna just gonna grease the adjustment slack spacers in between them, all that fun stuff. Grease, 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 grease. And now when you're doing this, you can just think about all the trick variations you can do with your free coaster because, <laughs> come on. With free coasters, there's no such thing as over greasing. Well, there is, and I'm probably over greasing it right now, but it's all personal preference. So just grease it to an extent where you won't be worried about it slipping or catching or any of that sorts of matter. So now we will take our clutch right here and we actually forgot to grease that too. The clutch right now, you don't really wanna grease so much the teeth of it right here. You don't wanna grease that so much, 
But what you do want to grease is the threads inside of it and the outside and the stuff around it. So right there is mint. Right there is golden. She's golden, pony boy. So now we will take the driver, install it like that, and then just make, make sure everything's working properly. And if there's like excess grease coming out, just like wipe that in really quickly, get rid of it. And then just sit there and play with it because now you can just think about all those free coaster variations to do. So we're just gonna do the basically the same exact thing we did in the first place. We're just gonna clean up our hubs and just kind of like degrease it a little bit, not so much. Now wipe off your fingers because you didn't really need to grease it that much. All right, so next step is putting all your stuff back in your hub. So what you can do here is you can just drop your clutch in like that, or you could put it back on. Oh no, oh no, okay. You could put it back on like this and just have it be held there. So then what you wanna do is you just wanna put this back inside your hub like this and hammer it just like that. So the clutch right here, the teeth is facing the driver itself. So the clutch teeth facing down and everything like this, hammer back in, but very gently with a mallet or if you have a hammer like me, just, I don't know, hammer it. So we're just gonna go do that really quickly. So now what you guys wanna do is you just wanna put your driver back in. Now right here is that little spacer I was telling you guys about. Now just cram that in there with the driver itself. Spin it, make sure everything runs smoothly. And now right now, the hub is kind of loose because we just took it all apart. But now add your washer again, your driver nut. Take a little bit of the grease off the axle so it's not such a pain in the butt to get back on. So now what you guys want to do is take the end of your take your driver nut take the aid again and now like we did in the first place you guys loosened it you guys now want to tighten it so righty tighty lefty loosey tighten it a little bit not too tight to the point where it's going to break spin your free coaster a little bit she spins nicely so right now you just want to make sure everything's intact, everything's ready to go, everything's greased up, she's clean, she's tight, everything's perfect. But just feel your free coaster out, think of all the endless trick combinations you can do now that you have a working free coaster. And now slam your pegs back on if you have some. So if that's done, you're all done with putting it back together, all you have to do is just go throw it on your bike now and clean up the giant mess you have. Cause I'm sure by the end of this you have grease everywhere. And it smells like cat pee because the grease does not smell good and all that good stuff. So we're just gonna really quickly clean up and I'll get back to you guys in a second. It'll be like two seconds for you guys, but it'll be like 40 minutes for me cause I'm a slow person. All right. Okay. So I just cleaned up all my mess that I had, all that grease and stuff. Windex usually helps taking uh, half the grease off. So really quickly, if you guys mess up your hub in any sorts of way or anything, it's not my responsibility. If you guys do this whole video correctly and you've basically all your parts are brand new and cleaned and nothing's cracked or broken, everything should be 100% okay. But if not, I'm not responsible if you guys accidentally break any of your parts. So that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, add me on all my social medias. Subscribe again, subscribe, 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 subscribe. And if you guys subscribe, you guys will be the first one to get notified of when I make videos like this, edits, how-tos, many other things. 
So that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below, and I'll see you guys next video. This video was very, very, very requested by some of the people who ride free coasters and some of the people who actually want to switch from cassette to free coasters and have that worry that greasing is going to be a big hassle when it's really not. So that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.